Hey everyone, so this is Chicago Med, um, season 3, episode 4, called Naughty or Nice. Um, and I'll go through, um, chronologically instead of by storyline this time. So it starts off with, um, Robin going back to work and she's worried about, you know, <clears throat> she's worried about people, um, what people will say because the last time they saw her was, um, She was, like, you know, strapped to her gurney and screaming about rats and all that. So, Rhodes is, like, you know, um, Rhodes is, like, you know, trying to reassure her and all that. And then, and then goes to Dr. Troy and Stoll, um, who get a Santa as a patient, um, who was having chest pains. And the woman who was with him, who was just up as an elf, um, said he was only complaining about indigestion and she felt like she knew better, so then she, she was like, wow, why did I just, like, you know, call ambulance or whatever? Um, apparently he had a massive heart attack, or at least I assume that's what they meant by massive MI or something like that. Um, we find out his name is Bill Cooper, and he played the Santa at, um, this place for about 25 years. Um, <clears throat> and then he goes, so goes back to Rhodes, gets a patient named Pedro Suarez, he's 30 years old, and fell off of his, fell off of his roof, which was 20 feet up, um, while putting up Christmas lights. Um, during, while trying to treat him, um, they find out that his lung, his left lung collapsed, and, um, when he goes to put it in the chest tube, fecal matter starts coming out. Um, disgusting as hell. Um. So, anyway, so then it goes back to Troy, who gets another patient by the name of Vincent Kramer, who went through a stained glass window, um, and he's talking of demons everywhere. So, <clears throat> um, then it goes to Noah, um, who has a patient of Mr. Rosenblatt, who's complaining of a fever that started about Tuesday, and has a rash, so they start running tests, um, they, he eventually finds out that the woman with him, with his patient, is his sister. So, which comes into play with him and his sister, um, April. Anyway, so Charles, uh, Charles finds out from Goodwin that Kellogg was killed, um, the man, this, this is the guy who shot him, that he was killed by another patient, or not patient, inmate, that morning. Um, and so she's concerned that he will take the news out on Reese because she testified against Kellogg and ultimately sent him to prison. Um, so she's like, well, why don't you take a few days off? And she's, he's like, no, I don't want to take a few days off. And I'm just like, I don't know what it is about this season, but all these storylines are pretty much like pissing me off. This included, um, and we don't get to it then, but it's really kind of pissing me off. So anyway, <clears throat> Noah then goes over Rosenblatt's symptoms, and Maggie overhears them, um, um, which then says Stoll had a patient with the exact same symptoms like the week before, or something like that, and she just got the cultures back, which come, uh, which results were leptospirosis. Um, so they page Ray, Ra, uh, Robin. I was gonna say Rapel. I don't know why. So anyway, so they, cause I was gonna, uh, combining Robin and April together, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so they page Robin, since she's the, um, what's the word? Um, the person who specializes in diseases, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so they call her <clears throat> to see if they're dealing with an outbreak. Then it goes back to, back to Rhodes, who goes to Becker, who, who, who wants to help um, with the surgery on Pedro, because <clears throat> some of the organs that, um, his, his organs that are um, in his lower abdomen, <clears throat> excuse me, um, moved up into his chest. Um, I mean, eventually she agrees, and I'm just like, I'm so tired of this storyline, and this back and forth about how all oh, they're, they're liking the back and forth shit, and I'm tired of it, and I just, I don't like the, I really, really, really don't like how, like, 
two people who are supposed to be rivals. To, I, I've said it before dozens of times, and I'm just I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of the, this whole rival shit and how because you're mean to me, I must like you shit. And I don't want them together. I don't want them together. I I, I mean, I I thought that Robin and and Rhodes were. Are, are cute together in season three i still think they're cute together i just don't like the fact that because she's sick oh well he has to fucking get tired of her being sick and 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 all that and and so because he's tired of her being sick it's pushing him towards someone who who uh, will intrigue him more or some shit i'm, so, I'm just tired of it I'm tired of this boring ass outplay storyline it's it's not cute. It's not funny. It's it's not wanting me to fucking watch them. I don't care for it. I really don't fucking care for it. I just don't. I don't fucking care for it. And I'm fairly certain a lot of other people are not caring for it either. Cause I mean, I just don't really. I don't see why it's cute or funny or even in the fucking story. I just don't like it. I mean. I just don't want. I just don't want it in the story. I just don't want it in the whole fucking story. I just don't. I mean, the same with with uh, Will and Natalie. I don't fucking like their storyline. I I don't like that they're like, like it's just it's. I mean, because it's like this chick didn't want him in the first fucking season in the first place, and then because because she she was grieving over her husband, which okay fine, grieve for her husband. If that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And then and then she's like, oh well, I might like you. Uh, oh, never mind, I don't like you. Uh, oh, now I like you. Like, make, like, chick, make up your fucking mind. Either you like him or you don't. So, it just, it, it's not, it's not funny. It's not cute. It's not cute watching him pine over this woman and treat his, uh, his previous girlfriend like shit because he, he was fucking stuck up on Natalie. Like, it's not cute. Like, just, it's not something that's, enjoyable to me I just don't care it's just annoying as fuck it's, ugh, anyway so sorry for the rant anyway so Reese then comes up apologizes to Charles about Kellogg thinking it was her fault um and he says well it wasn't it wasn't your fault you had no way of knowing this was gonna happen um and then Troy comes up to ask for a consult for Kramer um, Reese then, you know, lickety splits, um, not wanting to deal with him and his, you know, what looks like obvious schizophrenia. So Charles decides to give him some medicine to calm him down, um, for a bit before he actually talks with him. Um, So then it goes to Robin going to Rosenblatt explaining that he contracted the, the infection either by rat, a rat, the the rat's urine, or contaminated water. Um, and um, his sister was like, well, his sister had just said like, you know, well, if he had eaten kosher meat, you wouldn't have gotten this. So she was like, that's not, it's not from not, it's, he didn't get it from not eating um Un, uh, unkosher meat, if that's a word. Um, so she, they they're start figuring out um, what to do or uh, where he might have contracted this. So then April, you know, tells Rhodes of Robin's case with Becker. I mean, and Becker makes some snide ass remark, and I'm just like, I'm so done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Anyway, so then Natalie has this patient. Um, uh, named Shannon. Um, she's pregnant. She's 22 weeks pregnant. Um, and she f started feeling, um, some cramping. Um, so Natalie checks the baby and it's herpy and, um, and everything else. And, um, everything looks fine as far as the baby's concerned. So they decided to just run some tests anyway, just to be sure. Then it goes to Rose and Black coughing up blood. So Noah can't seem to put in a um, breathing tube. Um, so he decides to crack him, which is basically a tube just directly in the throat right here. If you don't know, um, and April's like, "What are you? What are you doing? Why are you? Why are you doing that, Noah? Why are you doing that?" And he ends up successfully doing it anyway. So it goes back then to Shannon's husband. 
I don't know, or Shannon, whose husband just gets into the hospital. His name is Bruce, by the way. So I don't think they said it, like, initially. But anyway, so Natalie says, um, well, it's just Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, but they, or it, it looks like it's Braxton Hicks contractions. So, um, but we'll run some more tests to make sure it's any, anything serious. And then, and then... Um, Halstead, or Will, decides to run some tests on Sharon's husband, or Bruce, because, um, he's looking pale. Like, he's looking deathly pale. Even I noticed. I was like, why the fuck is he looking that damn pale? Like, is he gonna pass out from a heart attack or something? Or is he gonna have a heart attack or some shit? Like, I don't get it. Um. Anyway. So, um, during, uh, Rhodes' surgery, Becker keeps asking about Robin, um, and he refuses to talk about her. Um, so, they then get to a point in surgery where he can leave to go check out for Robin since, um, since, uh, he found out, um, or since they both found out about the rat infection thing. Um, so then goes back to Noah, who doesn't seem to seem sure what to do. So April was like, well, do this, this, and this, and I mean, I'm just gonna get this shit, this one over with. Oops, sorry, my camera. Um, sorry about that. Um, so she's like, well, uh, I'm gonna get this, this part of the storyline over. Um, he eventually gets upset by the fact that he, she keeps telling him what to do and backs and tells her to back off. So, um, April was then, you know, um, they, they find out about, um, how, or April finds out about how, even though Rosenblatt is Jewish, he married a Catholic wife and, um, he would celebrate, Christmas with his wife um every year and we get a Christmas tree and that's how they find out that he got um the infection the tree was cul uh, cultivated and grown in contaminated soil um and it obviously soaked up the the contaminated water through its roots and eventually into the the wood itself and um that's how he got the infection because of the tree um okay so that's that storyline i think i'm gonna just finish the rest of the storylines from here on out um Charles, um, I'm going to do the Charles and Kramer storyline here. Charles talks with Kramer once he's sedated, and you know, um, he saw Charles is like, well, these demons have been coming after me for years and all that. Um, and, um, after, you know, talking with him, Charles tells Troy, you know, Kramer definitely has some sort of delusional disorder wants to wants to admit it for further evaluation um so before um uh during during this whole thing troy gets another patient named father luke novak who has come in with multiple stab wounds um and as he's working on him troy sees pieces of stained glass um that was brought with him, um, I guess un un unknowingly. Um, so then, uh, uh, in intermittently between that point and you know this next scene with um, uh, Kramer, um, Char uh, Troy had um, called the cops and Charles walks in. Um, 
on, uh, with Olinsky from Chicago PD trying to arrest Kramer for stabbing Novak. Um, Charles is like, why are you trying to do that? What, what's going on? And then Kramer grabs the, you know, the paddles that, that shock your heart, that the doctors use to shock your heart. Um, he grabs them when um, he sees an officer grab his weapon. Charles inadvertently tries, or tries to talk him down, and then, um, and the or, um, Kramer. Kramer hadn't got taken the paddles because of the officer grabbing his gun. He had, had already had it, um. So that was my mistake. I was reading my notes wrong, but um, Kramer tries to shock himself when he sees an officer grab for his gun and um inadvertently shocks charles um uh who's trying to get the the um paddles away from him um then they go like after the commercial break we see charles um is still upset kramer is being arrested and keeps interrupting everyone trying to figure saying why is he being arrested why is he being arrested why is he being arrested and eventually both troy and goodwin tell him he is the one who stabbed stabbed and killed a priest um so charles walks away silently and breeze then you know continues to blame herself for charles trying to save kramer because he it's basically his way of trying to trying to make up for the fact that he couldn't save kellogg um and good one says, you know, that's that. I mean, it's not your fault. It, it wasn't your fault. Um, and then at the end, Charles, you know, eventually d decides to take some time, a few days off. Um, so that's that storyline. Um, Um, so the last major, major storyline, I guess you could say, is the Natalie Shannon storyline. And, um, Will, um, you know, is seen, you know, trying to figure out what's wrong with Bruce, and he thought Bruce might have West Nile virus, but he came back negative. Um, and his, his further, his further results came back inconclusive, um, which made Will think that he contracted Zika somehow. So he suggests that both Bruce and Shannon get tested for, for Zika. But um, he was like, well, I, we haven't had sex in a week. Um, and eventually, excuse me, Bruce reveals that he wasn't actually in Buffalo, that like he claimed he was previously in an episode. He was actually in Aruba with a woman um, and he doesn't want to let Shannon find out um, and Will doesn't agree with that so Bruce says if you uh, break you can't tell her because you'll be breaking HIPAA um, which sucks but what can you do um, so Will tells Natalie Bruce's infidelity and she's like, well, we got to tell her, we got to test, because we got to test them. And he's like, well, I can't because technically Zika is a relatively new disease and it's not like HIV or AIDS where, um, it's been out for decades and, um, we have the right to tell someone um, that their partner is infected with HIV, um, because it doesn't, I guess, I guess it's because not only is it really new, it's not, it doesn't necessarily, I don't know, maybe, uh, but I guess it's because it's just solely because of the fact that it's really, really, a really, really new disease, and, like, they still don't know the long-term effects, I guess, of Zika, so that's why they, they're, like, you can't tell anyone until we actually know, or something like that, I guess that's why, um, but they, uh, what Will ends up doing is he ends up calling the CDC and having someone come in right before 
Shannon and, and Bruce are about to leave, and um, they're they're like uh, the the woman who who is from the CDC is like, well, I, I need you guys to come with me, and she was like, well, what's going on? Um, and so basically, that's when it's like you know, um, basically that's how they get around telling Shannon. And Natalie was about to, you know, tell her anyway, and so Will Will showed up. So, um, I think that's all the major storylines. Um, the only small one that um, we saw throughout the whole episode was um, the Santa Claus Bill. Um, uh, was it Bill? Yeah, Bill. His name was Bill. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, uh, he, he had a wife, um, and so basically she's a widow now, um, and uh, her her brother got um, her brother got a bill in the mail, or she got a bill in the mail, but her brother intercepted it. Um, and the bill was for $16,000, so good one is trying to figure out how to, because, I mean, why is she, like, Stole is, the only reason why they were billed $16,000 is because Stole was like, well, they, they, they technically used a, uh, 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 their, his, his, he was in a, in a room, in a ER room, in an ED room, and he, you, like, they used, uh, supplies on him and all that, and yada yada yada, like, okay, okay, boy, whatever, so that's his whole reason for, like, billing her $16,000, so, good one then blackmails, um, or ba basically threatens the board to forget the bill because, uh, because, uh, of how, you know, um, uh, um, because, you know, how would it how would it look if you bill Santa Claus for six uh, Santa or Santa Claus widow for sixteen thousand dollars? So I thought that was really clever of her, to be honest. So yeah, um, oh, there's a there's a little also a little another storyline with Robin. She um while she's you know dealing with this whole rat infection thing, um. She thinks she hears rats above her head while she's um, in her office, and so she ends up getting a a, a MRI to see if um, the tumor is back. Turns out there is no tumor, but um, um, but and it might just be symptoms of this uh. Uh, um, yeah, the, the the medication she's been given, but it turns out the um there is there was a busted heater pipe above her head in the in the ceiling, and that's why um she heard what she heard because it was rattling around and shit. So um okay, so now as far as like you know the whole every what I think of everything so far. Personally, I think Reese was right from the get go. At least as far as Kalaw goes, um, I think he was. She was right about that. But yeah, I personally think that she was right about Kalaw, um, and you know, I I think she was you know right in that fact that he was manipulating everybody, um, and just and Charles just feels guilty about being played and he doesn't like the fact that you know they they he got outsmarted by somebody for for, for I guess for once uh after after like what however many years so so yeah I mean so yeah I mean I I, I get I, under, I mean I understand that's why that's why he feels like you know, I mean, I, that's why I personally think he's like, you know, 
he's he's beating himself up. It's not really because he's truly uh, sorry for you know Kellogg or anything and think that he disturb he's disturbed. I think he's just really guilty. Feels really guilty for getting himself played and he didn't uh, and I think it's because he he also feels like someone half my age figured this shit out and you know all that so I don't know I, I mean that's personally what I think but that's just me um I, you already know how I feel about the whole Rhodes and, and Becker shit. Um, tired of it, over it. Um, and I'm, same thing with Natalie and Will. I'm tired of it and I'm over it. And I really could care less about the two storylines. I really could. So, um, this show doesn't come back on until January 2nd, which I believe um, is a Tuesday. Um... I believe it was a Tuesday. Yeah, it's January 2nd, so it's a Tuesday. So, um, that's the day before Catfish comes back on. So, because Catfish comes back on, um, June, or July, or January 3rd. So, that comes back on then. Um, I need to figure out when Chicago Fire comes back on. I don't know. I don't think they said, but... I don't think I, I haven't actually looked to see if Chicago Fire when Chicago Fire is coming back on. Um, let me check. That one comes back on June 4th. So that, I mean, all three of those shows are coming back on that entire week. So, because um, first it's Chicago Med, then it's Catfish, then it's Chicago, Chicago Fire. So, boom, boom, boom. And I believe that's when Chicago PD is coming back on too. I, uh, I think it went off like a week ago. Um, I mean, not that I actually recap that anymore, but... Um, Oh, it's coming back on January 3rd. Um, so that's the same day as uh, Catfish Show. Yeah, all those are coming back on um, that same week. So I figured I was going to, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that um, is going to be it for at least those shows right now. I believe uh, Vikings is coming back on this week and next week because technically... This uh, this week is before Christmas, the Christmas holiday, because Christmas is actually technically Monday next week, so it's not technically Wednesday. So, um, and then next Wednesday is before New Year's. Um, is like the uh, next Wednesday is the twenty seventh. So that um, that. So, I guess technically it will come on this week and next week since it's not both both dates are technically not technically not holidays. Um, let me just check because I I still haven't done the Vikings video yet, um, but I believe that's still coming on this week and next week. So, uh, so Vikings season five.
Yes, it's coming out of the... Wait, what? Because last week was the 13th? Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's coming on this week, and it's coming on next week, on the 27th, and then... So it's not it's not taking any days off. It's not taking any, any weeks off. So it's coming on Wednesday and... F uh, this Wednesday and next Wednesday, so... Um, so yeah, it's not taking any weeks off, considering it started in at the end of November, so... Um, So, yeah, so I'm going to finish this video and then start Vikings for you guys. Um, and then, since I'm, since Vikings is only coming on this, well, this week and next week, I'll definitely try my hardest uh, to get those up uh, when, uh, Thursday and then um, this week and next week. So, that way I can... Since that, those are only videos or only shows on at the moment. So, and I'll see you guys later.